I now recognize the ranking member of the Crime Subcommittee, the gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Biggs, for his opening statement. I thank the chairman, and I oppose this bill. Democrats have gathered us here today to mark up a portion of their monstrous $3.5 trillion reconciliation package. This committee's instructions were to report changes in law within its jurisdiction that increased the deficit by not more than $107,500,000,000 for the per period of fiscal years 2022 through 2031. And that, while well, we have a $29 trillion national debt. But that's not really what we're here to do. The majority wants to grant amnesty. So let's just think about how this is going to work. Today, while we're meeting here for the next 12 hours or so, more than 7,160 people will be encountered illegally entering the United States. In the meantime, the getaways, both known and unknown, will be more than 3,600 today. Today alone, you will have almost 10,000 people illegally enter the United States. They're going to be coming in through La Jolla, Texas, where there'll be thousands. They're going into Yuma. They're going to San Miguel, where there's no port of entry. But we are seeing more often groups of 40, 50, 60, even 100 coming into those places to enter the country illegally. But this bill doesn't do anything to address that crisis. Since President Biden took office this January, it has become an unprecedented crisis. So let's, let's consider that. Just since January, this calendar year, through eight months alone, more than 1.3 million encounters at the border. In July, 212,000. But of those 212,000, 19,000 of them unaccompanied minors. In June, 190,000, with about 16,000 unaccompanied minors coming across. And what does this bill do? Does it do anything to dissuade people to come into this country illegally? No. It provides an additional incentive. It provides amnesty to at least 8 million illegal aliens. To put that in perspective, only 12 states have more than 8 million residents. Nothing in this bill is intended to address the loopholes that provide incentives and pull factors for illegal immigration. Nothing, nothing dissuades illegal immigration in this bill. In fact, this bill rewards illegal immigration and will encourage future surges of illegal immigration while we still have an open border created by Democrat policies. And who's the person that really designed that and has been uh, supplying us and managing and overseeing those open border policies? Why, it's the Secretary, the Homeland Security Secretary, Secretary Mayorkas. And what does this bill do? It expands his power and authority. So, since January, enforcement of our immigration laws by ICE has ground to a halt. According to the Washington Post, ICE's 6,000 officers averaged one arrest every two months, every two months under the Biden administration. Deportations dropped to the lowest levels on record, even though we know that there are more than 1.2 million aliens with final removal orders. This decrease in enforcement is a direct result of the Biden administration policies that have limited ICE's ability to enforce the law. You remember Secretary Mayorkas instructing ICE to quit making uh, enforcement one of its priorities. What has this committee done? It has done nothing until today. This committee is going to formalize amnesty for millions of illegal aliens into this nation while it does nothing to secure the border. We have not held a single hearing where we could question Biden administration officials about their actions, even though we've asked for them. Secretary Mayorkas has somehow managed to testify before Homeland Security, House Appropriations, Senate Homeland Security, Governmental Affairs, and the Senate Appropriations Committee, but not this committee. Instead, this committee has advanced multiple pieces of legislation to provide amnesty to illegal aliens. And this bill is just the latest attempt by Democrats to provide amnesty. This bill should be called We Don't Want to Legislate Act because what it does is it gives, uh, delegates congressional authority to the Secretary of Homeland Security. The bill's a blank check. He can do whatever he wants. 
He gets to fill in all the details that this bill does not address. Even the DREAM Act at 54 pages, the Farm Workforce Modernization Act, 231 pages, and the U.S. Citizenship Act, 353 pages. But this bill is only 18 pages because it basically says to the Homeland Secretary, you can grant entry to anyone you want without numerical limitation. The lack of the detail in this bill is astounding. It's as if supporters of the bill don't want the American people to understand the full impact of the bill. In this case, we don't have to pass the bill to know what's in it. We, we have to wait for the DHS to tell us what's in the bill when they fill in the blanks. Secretary Mayorkas is a failed secretary who has failed to even attempt to address the border crisis. You remember, in a closed meeting, he actually told the Border Patrol agents, this is an unsustainable situation and has since done nothing to solve that unsustainable situation. We should not be requiring or giving to him the grant of amnesty. We should be holding him accountable for failing to secure our borders. That's what we should be doing when we're talking about illegal immigration and securing our borders, Mr. Chairman. I'll yield back.